having a solid idea how long it will take you to move from point A to point B in the outdoors is one of the most important things when you plan. Today we will discuss how you actually calculate that time. Hey guys, welcome to the high ground. My name is Fabio and today we will discuss how to calculate the time that you need to cover a specific distance in the outdoors. The so-called hiking time, march time or book time. Different words for all the same thing. Now let's get started with some basic measurements. In Europe, the Alpine clubs and other outdoor societies estimate that an average hiker will be able to cover four kilometers of distance and 400 meters of altitude gain per hour. For our American friends, this is roughly 2.5 miles and 1300 feet of altitude gain. The hiking time or book time is fairly easy calculated. You look at the distance that you have to cover and the altitude gain you have to cover. Divide this by the numbers I just mentioned, 4 kilometers for the distance, 400 meters for the altitude gain, and this will give you a number for hours. You take the lower amount, cut it in half, add it to the higher amount, and this is your hiking time. Let's do an example for that. Let's say you have a distance of 10 kilometers and an altitude gain of 800 meters until you reach your goal. Now the distance of 10 kilometers, if we say we have four kilometers per hour, then we are at two and a half hours. For the 800 meters of altitude gain, we need by with 400 meters per hour, we need two hours. So I have two and a half hours for distance and two hours for altitude gain. The altitude gain is lower. I split it in half to one hour, add this to the two and a half hours, and we are at an overall marching time of roughly three and a half hours without breaks. The same works for miles. I'll do it again. As you might remember, we said two and a half miles per hour or 1300 feet. Now you have a hiking distance of seven and a half miles and an altitude gain of 2,600 feet. So for the seven and a half miles with 2.5 miles per hour, you will need three hours. For the 2,600 feet of altitude gain with 1,300 feet altitude gain per hour, you will need two hours. So we have three hours for the distance, two hours for the altitude gain. We take the lower one, the two hours, split it in half, one hour, add it to the three, and we have a total marching time of four hours. Now, these numbers are, of course, rough estimations for a, well, weekend hiker. If you're an achieved alpinist, if you are in very good physical conditions, you will, of course, increase those numbers for yourself. You can go with six kilometers per hour and 800 meters altitude gain per hour, whatever you like. I would recommend to test that stuff, to also test it with different equipment and under different conditions, because for example, a heavy backpack will make you slower, snow on the track will make you slower, right? So make sure that you have your number styled in and then you will be able to really estimate the time that you need to cover a certain amount of distance and altitude gain and will have a good planning. Okay, that's already it for this video. This was a very quick tip, but I found it very useful for my planning. If you're interested in other videos and tutorials about LandNav, check out the link that I have in the description below. There is a full series of land nav tutorials, beginning with reading a map and terrain association up to really advanced compass work. If you found this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up. That really helps. Follow the channel if you didn't do so yet. Leave us a comment if you calculate it differently. I really appreciate your time for watching this video and I'll see you next time.